<sighs> Where do I start from yesterday? Hey guys, it's Dan the Man here. Back again, it's in the morning. Uh, a couple of things, a good thing is happening, and a very, very bad thing has happened, and we're going to address that in today's video, but not right away. I gotta go do other shit, gotta go to work first. But even though I can't fix it right now, I thought I'd at least show you guys just quickly. Um, let me get my boots on. Oh, insert, please. Thank you. Grab a drink. Awesome. It's 8 30 in the morning, and uh, I mean, summer vacation has started for me, but. <laughs> Holy shit, it don't be like summer vacation. Not with all the fucking shit I have to do. Honestly, it just feels like a weekend, which is something I'm not too thrilled about, but, you know, such is life. Alright. Let those two bozos out, and I'll go show you guys what I'm talking about. Um, yeah. Last night, I was had my truck idling uh, in neutral. No parking brake on. And it rolled back and this happened. Now if you actually go check out the official Dan the Man 6.0 Instagram, you would have seen this last night. Yeah. It's a decent dent. Got some paint chippage here. My goal is to get this tail light out and see if I can bang some of that out. In retrospect, it's not that bad in the morning. It's just that it was perfect before and now it's not. As you can see, this side's nice and pretty. We go to this side. Not so pretty. But anyways, guys, I'll catch back up to you. Also, yeah, that was the good thing, though. The uh, official Dan the Man Instagram is out. It's called uh, Dan the Man YouTube at Dan the Man 6.0. Let's go check that shit out. I don't have to pre approve you or anything. You just click follow and you're following it. And it's just going to be truck updates there. And shit like that. I got to go. Alright, guys. Dan the Man back here today. As you guys saw, we did this. Well, we're gonna fix it, or at least attempt to. I'm gonna see if I can take this tail light out, see if I can get behind there, and maybe bang some of it out, make it look a little nicer. As you can see, there's some parts from Project Cub Cadet. You guys saw episode one. What do you guys think of that series? I haven't checked the YouTube comments yet. I'm gonna go grab my tools quickly. They're over here. Actually, I see that shit. The tools I were going to use are down by Project Cub Cadet. I'll be right back, guys. So far, most of the stuff I had to do with this truck, we're done with these two wrenches. Let's see if that, continue, that trend will continue. Yep. The uh, 516 is what you're going to need a lot on this. On these trucks. It's something I'm beginning to learn. Um, future video probably will be taking these taillights back up because I'm looking at getting some new ones. I don't like the look at these. I'm debating though if I'm going to go with the 08 style taillights 
or go get some nice LED ones. I haven't decided yet. Yeah, now that just pops out. Also, while I'm in here, my um, backup lights don't work. That might be why. I need new bulbs. Okay. I'm going to take these lights completely off here. Get them out of the way. They're just plastic things here. It looks easy enough to route a... Yeah. I don't know. I saw some cheap uh, newer lights. I don't know. Did I get up here? Doesn't really open up what I was hoping it for it to open up, but I'm gonna go get a pry bar and hopefully we can uh, pop it some of that stuff back out. Now just so you guys at home do realize, I'm not planning on making this perfect. I just want it better. And if I'm going to get any improvement, it's to be determined. I don't, it doesn't look good, guys. I don't think I'm going to get that dent out. Which sucks. I mean, I'll probably get, um, you guys watch Roadkill Garage or not, um, get some of the pull that's bent out. There's a couple other dents I'd like to pull out. Um, get a welder buddy or something, uh, I don't know. Alright, we might get this, just take some body filler cheap. Who knows at this point, but, doesn't look too good. I wonder, I wonder if my mom would notice why I just quickly swapped the lights with her. Yeah. Right, I gotta get new reverse bulbs. Comment below. Should I go with taillights like on that truck? Or should I go with some nice black LEDs? cost me about the same either way I go. And I know there's going to be people out there who prefer the um, OEM styles or the LEDs. I don't really care. I like the idea of LEDs. I'm not 100% sold on the look of them though. But I would like, if I could find like a, uh, I like the taillight placement I guess I should say on those. But it really sucks. It's my first ding so I'm making a big deal out of it and stuff. Uh, it's not that bad of a ding. It could have been a lot worse. Could have hit the tail light. Um, hang on, guys. This really does suck. It really does suck, guys. I mean, 
but that's why I didn't go out and buy a brand new truck. I bought one that had dings and bruises in it. Um, I should probably tell you the story of how it happened. I was leaving work. I forgot one thing, so I put it in neutral. Um, it didn't roll, so I hopped out, went and grabbed what I needed to come to grab, came back out of the barn, and there it was, rolling down the driveway, and it rolled into a part of the building. Oh, I'll show you guys, uh, um, probably in a future vid. This is just going to be a quick, short one. Uh, part of this, it's a 6-0 update, though. Oh, this sucks. This really does suck. That's probably the worst of them all and the most noticeable, so I don't know what's going to happen. For now, I'm just going to live with it. Uh, I am getting touch-up paint for it, though. Uh, I've been looking to touch-up paint for a little bit now, and uh, my next order from my local auto parts store, Napa, is going to have touch-up paint included in it. If there's going to be brakes in there, I don't know yet, but... I might splurge, um, I need to get some reverse lights too, so who knows what's going to happen yet. But no, um, when it backed up, it hit it at an angle, like the building was here. And it pushed in the plastic. I thought the wheel hurt, because when I initially looked back here, nothing was damaged. It bounced off of it. But I mean, it kind of sucks. You guys know how to get back there. I mean... The bed looks like it was riveted on or something here. There's got to be a way to do it. Let me check up here quickly. Oh, actually, hang on. Here we go. But before somebody asks me, no, I do not regret still to this day about buying a manual. Even though this shit can happen. Something I should probably uh, touch on is like, well, why don't you have the parking brake on like a sensible human being? Like, well, my father has drilled into my head, never used the parking brake. Um, unfortunately, it's been drilled into my head. I, I am trying to undrill it. But, I mean, that's probably the biggest reason right there. It's just some of the shit you gotta deal with with a manual. That's actually helping it, guys. I got part of it to bump back out now. Okay, I got part of it to bump back out now. Lay right over up here. Hey, it looks a little better. It's nothing. Wasn't the results I was hoping to get, but it's better. Alright guys, I'm going to wrap it up there. Uh, for this part of the video. If this is all that gets uploaded today, I'm sorry. But uh, short update, I'm working hard. I had to slip, fit this in when I could. See you guys later. Alright guys, um, so this is a continuation of actually the next day. Um, I put out an Instagram post two days ago now for you guys. Yesterday for me. Saying the video would go up. By today, I don't think that's gonna happen. Gotta. Well, I have a serious question. 
What do you guys think? Explorer mirrors for my truck? Get that nice sneak. Yeah, fuck that. Um, but just an update on the dent. As you can see, I got a little bit out, but um, I have someone who I, it's like a spot loader, I'm not sure. Forget the name, I'm really tired. But anyways, he's got one of those welder things, or has access to, so we can pull some of that dent out of there. And uh, this is the same dude that's going to help us uh, save Project Cub Cadet. Uh, you'll understand about that when that episode comes out. And I, we actually need to get into Project Cub Cadet again, but I'm still waiting for my buddy to get well. Matt got strep throat. That's why we haven't been filming any more of that. I do have episode two that I got to edit. And that should hopefully be going up soon. So I think I'm just going to go up stairs and edit a bunch of videos now for you guys. So, see? <clears throat> After this, next time you guys will see me is in Project Cub Cadet Part 2. Ciao.